Another monster storm is brewing in the eastern Atlantic. With Houston just beginning to contemplate its long recovery from the onslaught of Hurricane Harvey, which made landfall in Texas as a hurricane before dumping record amounts of rain over the region as a tropical storm, another monster storm is brewing in the Atlantic. Hurricane Irma, which, as of 11 a.m. ET, 1,500 GMT, on Friday, September 1st, was far to the east of the Dominican Republic, rapidly intensified to nearly a Category 3 hurricane over the past 24 hours, according to the National Hurricane Center NHC. Category 3 hurricanes have sustained wind speeds of at least 111 miles per hour, 178 kilometers per hour. Hurricane Irma has registered maximum wind speeds of 110 miles per hour. 175 kilometers per hour. The storm is currently moving westward as 13 miles per hour, 21 kilometers per hour, but is expected to turn southwest on Saturday, September 2nd. And although its wind speeds can increase or decrease in the coming days, Irma is still expected to be a powerful hurricane through the weekend, the NHC said in an advisory. The hurricane force winds extend 15 miles 24 kilometers from the center of the storm and winds as strong as 74 miles per hour, 119 kilometers per hour, extend outward up to 90 miles, 150 kilometers. In photos, Hurricane Harvey takes same at Texas however, Hurricane Irma is still too far out to sea to predict if and where it will make landfall in the United States, the NHC said. This year's hurricane season is forecast to be a busy one, with between 2 and 5 storms with sustained wind speeds of at least 111 miles per hour, and between 14 and 19 named storms predicted by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's most recent outlook. Already, the season has had 8 named storms, Arlene, Brett, Cindy, Don, Emily, Franklin, Gert, Harvey and Irma which is double the number typically expected by late August, according to the NHC.